ChatGPT for insurance, new software revealed. Hey everyone, Luis Moreno here with Simply Health Insurance Agency. We've got Alex Branning from Agency RM. Alex, what's going on, bud? Man, hey, what's we, up, Lewis? Thank you so much for having me, man. I am so excited to talk about the new stuff that we're rolling out in Agency RM. Yes. So if you're wondering, what is Agent CRM, guys? This is a tool. Think of it. You're a carpenter and you got to have some tools to do your job. Well, we're insurance agents and we need some tools. This is one of these tools that I like to call, it's a force multiplier. It multiplies your efforts that you're doing out there. So we're going to talk about two new features in Agent CRM. And then we're going to finish off at the very end. So don't leave this, don't, don't stop this video because we're going to talk about what you get when you use my affiliate link. And with that, mm -hmm. Alex, I'm going to let you take over. Show us the two new latest features in Agent CRM. All right. So you all have been hearing about AI and all the things that AI can do, chat GPT. There's a lot of buzzwords out there. But what nobody has done yet is make it so that insurance agents can use AI to grow their business. Well, we have two ways for you to do that, and they're in your agent CRM account right now. And so I'm going to go ahead and share my screen. I'm going to show you exactly what we've built. First, I'm going to show you inside of agent CRM how you can use what we call content AI. So check this out. So what you're looking at here is our email builder inside of agent CRM. This is where you craft the emails that you're going to send to your list. Now, when you add a text element to your um, to your emails, there's a new button here called Content AI. So if you tap on this, so we're going to write an email right now, Liz. We're going to send an email out, um, or we're going to prepare an email that we would send to people who um, reached out to us for Medicare but haven't yet scheduled an appointment. So I'm going to say this is going to be a promotional email, and the content title is going to be Invitation to Schedule call to learn about Medicare. And then I'm just going to provide a brief content description. We're going to let OpenAI do the rest of it. So I'm going to say, um, I want to invite the reader to schedule a call with me to discuss Medicare. Let them know that time is running out, but I can talk to them in the next two days. Um, and then I'm going to select the writing tone. I'm going to say I'm excited. And I want to see three different variations. So I don't want to just go off of the first thing that it comes up with. I want to be able to look at three different options. So um, I'm going to go ahead and, uh, oh, and then I, I don't want to add a keyword. We'll add a keyword, Medicare, and then schedule call. So, all right. So let's click on generate. And let's see what content AI comes up with. The whole purpose of this is to help it so that you as the agent can save time, you can have a professional email copywriter write these emails for you. Um, and as long as you give it a good content description, it can come up with some good stuff. So let's see what it wrote out. So content variation number one, it says, hey there, hope this email finds you well. I'm reaching out to invite you to schedule a call with me to discuss Medicare. With time running out, it's important that we talk soon. And luckily I have availability in the next two days. It's not amazing. So now it gets a little bit off the rails. It says, as a copywriter who specializes in healthcare, I understand how overwhelming navigating Medicare can be. Blah, blah, blah. So whether you're new or just looking for some info, I'm here to help. So it started off really good, Lewis, and then it kind of right. got a little wonky. We might have to make some edits to it, right? But that's why I asked it for three different variations. So now let's go to the second variation. Hey there, I'm thrilled to invite you to schedule a call for me to discuss Medicare. With time running out, it's crucial you have all the information you need to make informed decisions about your healthcare coverage. That's really strong. Don't wait until it's too late. Take advantage of this opportunity. Schedule your call with me in the next two days. I promise to answer all your questions and provide you with valuable insights into Medicare. This is an important decision. And I want to make sure you have all the knowledge you need to make the best choice for yourself. That was really good. I like that number was good. two. Really good, really strong, right? Like all I did is I typed in two sentences and I said, you know, make these emails and it wrote these three different variations. So the first one needed a little too much help. Second one, I liked a lot. Let's see about the third one. Then we can just pick what we like and go from there, Lewis. So the third one says, hey there, are you looking for a better understanding of Medicare? We're looking no further. I'm excited to invite you to schedule a call with me. Time is running out, but don't worry. I have some availability in the next two days to chat with you and answer any questions you may have. Whether you're new to Medicare or just looking for some clarification, this call will be beneficial to anyone who wants to learn more. 
By scheduling this call, you'll gain valuable insights into the benefits and options available to you. So why wait? Schedule your card today and let's talk Medicare. I like that one too. I like that I one too. So um, so which one is your favorite, Lewis? We'll just pick, I like, I'm, know, I'm like actually going with number two. I like number two. Okay, cool. All right, so let's we're gonna copy that, plug that in here. So now we can edit it. So it it has taken the one that we liked, it's plugged it into our editor. And so now um, we can make some edits and tweaks to it. So I'm gonna put best Lewis Marino. Um, and then I'll keep uh, hey there for now. On the next screen, we'll replace that with a custom value. Um, is there any other changes you want to you would want to make on this before we plug it over to the next screen? You know what I like about this thing is we can if we, if we want to edit it, we can put some extra stuff on there, right? Yeah, absolutely. This is just okay. a starting point. The whole purpose of okay. content AI is to make it so that instead of you looking at a blank screen, you're just like, here's what I want to write an email about. Help me out. And it generates like it created three paragraphs for us like that. Perfect. Let's just run with this for right now for this example. I like All it. All right, cool. Let's click on continue. So now it's plugged in. And so now um, so I'm going to copy this contact first name here. And I'm going to say, hey, contact first name. Blah, blah, blah. I'm thrilled to invite you. Best Louis Marino. So there we go. So now the so now this is ready to go. So this email is all set. And we could, if we wanted to, we could send this out right now to your list. We could say this is a template and send it out to your list. So that's content AI and email. Isn't that cool? So that the whole is. purpose is to save time. If you're watching this and you're like, hey, I would want to tweak it, great. The whole purpose of content AI is not to create the entire thing for you because we want this to sound like Lewis, right? The whole purpose of it is to help you save time and write out a really good email. So um, so let's go over, um, there's another place where this is actually plugged in um, under social planner. Now I'm using a demo account for this video. So um, we don't actually have an account that is tied to this, but the content AI is also plugged into your social planner. Inside of social planner, you can schedule posts to your Facebook, Instagram, LinkedIn, and Twitter accounts, all within Agent CRM. Within the social planner, you can use content AI and you can give it prompts that are similar to what you saw in the email. And you can say, you know, I wanna write a social media post about the uh, Medicare clock running out and I wanna invite them to schedule a call with me. Please use emojis right? And it can generate multiple social media posts for you, right? And then you can say, okay, well, I like that one. You can plug that into social planner. And now you can schedule that post out to all your social media. Again, it's all about saving time, Lewis. We've taken the power of all these AI engines that are out there. We've wrapped it inside of agent CRM, and we've made it very easily accessible for you to help with your social media and help with your email. So super cool. Um, now there's a there's another AI tool that we have, but before we go on to that, content AI, do you have any questions or, or thoughts about content AI? As an agent, this has been, and I would say most, we all, all us agents are pretty much the same. We're good at selling, we're good at talking to people, but when I have to come up with a written email or something, I, I struggle with it. And so the fact yeah. that now it can be done here, we can create it as a template. And if you're wondering, well, what do you do with a template? Well, a template, guys, you have this template. All you've got to do now is pick the people that you want to send it to. With a few mm -hmm. clicks of a button, now all that data goes to those contexts. So super, super cool. I, lo I love this feature. I didn't even know this feature was in here. Yeah, is that right? So this is new as of May 1st. Uh, and then last week, we got a whole new one. And I'm just going to show you the screen that we wrote. The reason I'm not showing you a demonstration of the text message conversation itself is because I know that YouTube and other video hosts, when they see a phone number on there, they'll block the video. And so, right. so that this video can be seen, I'm going to show you our screenshots that we have on the ScheduleBot done online landing page. Now, ScheduleBot is free. So if you're in, if you have an agency or M account, you can use ScheduleBot. 
Schedulebot is, in the fancy terms, it's an auto GPT, which means that it has AI, you feed it information, and then it actually takes the um, responses back from, in this case, from our prospect, and reviews the conversation above it, right? And then responds back to the prospect for you. So let's see what this actually looks like in a quick little blurb here. So, um, so here's John Doe. This is, this is a screen cap so you can see how this works. So when you initiate ScheduleBot, there's a couple things that you plug in at first, and it's gonna take you less than 15 minutes to get it set up, but there is a setup process. First, you tell it what calendar you want your prospects to schedule a call on, right? Now you can change it for different variants of the schedule bot, but typically the, the, in your initial schedule bot, it's connected to one calendar. So it's gonna read that calendar, Lewis. So that calendar inside of Agent CRM is connected to your Gmail or I'm sorry, your Google or your Outlook calendar. So no double booking, it knows what open time slots you have. And because it's reaching out to a prospect in your database, it has information about them, right? It has their name, um, it has other information about them. So when the time comes, it can schedule an appointment without asking them for all that information, right? So, and then within ScheduleBot, you also, you feed it information, right? There's an FAQ section and I'm, I'm explaining it, but it's super easy to plug in these, uh, these gaps inside of your ScheduleBot. So for us here, we would tell the schedule bot, you know, my name is Louis Marino. I help you with Medicare and ACA. And then you'd answer common questions just in case they ask questions before scheduling an appointment. Like, does the appointment cost anything? Your answer in the schedule bot um, guide is no, the appointments do not cost anything. This is a free service that I have to offer. Things like that, right? Okay. So you have this initial message that gets sent on your behalf so this is lewis reaching out to the prospect hey john this is lewis i wanted to follow up with you on your life insurance need do you have time to connect next week now the prospect responds hi i'd love to how does thursday work now here's what schedulebot does lewis schedulebot knows that we're talking about next week and they know that we're looking at thursday so then schedulebot will read your account the one that you've attached to the schedule bot and then present open time slots on your calendar. So in this case, it goes, I'm available at one or three, which of these work best for you? In this case, John says, great, let's do one o'clock. Now, once they've confirmed Thursday at one, then it actually schedules an appointment using your agent CRM calendar and appointment and plugs John in for next Thursday at 1 p.m. Pacific time. Now it starts to send John the appointment confirmation messages, letting them know Hey, your appointment is scheduled. I got you on the calendar. Thank you so much. I'll talk to you now, right? ScheduleBot can handle hundreds of conversations at the same time. So for all those leads that you've got in your database right now, Lois, that just never took action, you can set up the ScheduleBot one time and then unleash the ScheduleBot on dozens or even hundreds of your prospects at once. And every conversation is carefully connected to that prospect. And the schedule bot will only read the conversations from that prospect and then with the information that you've provided it and the FAQs. And it will do the work for you. You'll have, again, dozens or even hundreds of conversations going simultaneously, scheduling people on your calendar for you. So this is great for people who have leads in their database from last year that didn't close. This is great. For people who are buying leads at it, you know, in large quantities, they want to make sure that no leads slip through the cracks. This is great for people who have Facebook leads coming in on a regular basis. And after a while, you're like, man, I wasn't able to get a hold of them. I'm just going to unleash the schedule bot on them and see if they'll respond to my schedule bot, right? So there's a lot of different ways that you can use schedule bot. Schedule bot is set up to have default settings, but Inside of your workflows and agent CRM, you can initiate the schedule bot and then change some of these settings. So for example, if you want a, a different message to go out for like after you missed a call with someone, right? They have a scheduled appointment. Let's say John has a scheduled appointment at 1 p.m. You call him and he doesn't answer. Well, that's a bummer. But now you can use this schedule bot to reach out to John and say, hey, John, I 
just tried calling you. I wasn't able to connect. Do you have time to talk tomorrow? Again, you're just changing up that default message based on what happened. And then ScheduleBot works just as it does, and it works to schedule that next appointment with John based on his answers and your current availability inside of your calendar. So that is ScheduleBot. This is the new thing, man, that is going out there. And, and I have good news for you, Lewis. There is no agent that will be replaced by AI. But I also have bad news. You, as an agent, will be replaced by another agent that's using AI. Because now, you know, Lewis, you talked about a force multiplier. You can have hundreds of conversations with people using ScheduleBot, where they feel like they're talking directly to you. It's happening over text message. They're scheduling appointments on your calendar. You're, you, by using ScheduleBot, can now duplicate the efforts of an entire office full of agents by using this open AI tool, ScheduleBot. I'm going to tell you, I'm a little quiet right now because I'm just running through dollar signs in my head right now. I'm like, okay, this is what I'm going to use it for. All right, so agents, you're sitting here, you say, okay, I love this feature. How can I actually put it to work? All right, let's talk about final expense agents. Okay, you guys buy a ton of leads out there. Okay, you're writing final expense on these people. All right, now you can do a couple of things. You can take all those leads, put them into an Excel, import them, okay? Once they're imported, and hopefully you're importing with the date of birth, you I'm seeing two things you can do. The first one is, now you can send all these people, if they're under 65, put them into a workflow with this bot to, to let them know that you can help them with their ACA. Okay, that's number one. What about those final expense clients that are over 65? Now you can take that entire book, put them into a workflow with the schedule bot and help them with their Medicare. And you're not having to hire somebody to schedule these appointments for you. Here's the third. This one just kind of hit my head. I got more dollar signs running through my head. So I just uploaded about 3,000 people into my agent CRM along with their date of birth. And also yep. these are my actual ACA clients. Check this out, Alex. Now I would say that maybe a quarter of them have dental and vision. I'm going to put them into a dental and vision workflow, use the schedule bot to schedule appointments and start selling dental and vision. There's 75%. There's another 2,000 clients that don't have dental and vision. This is, this is, oh, it, it, it this is yeah. truly a force multiplier. And how much is it costing? Zero. Nothing. There is no additional cost to using ScheduleBot. Man, this is crazy. It's an additional. So, yeah, feature. this thing is. Yeah, I love it. I love it, man. This is, this is now I just got to get, I just got to put it all together and, and put these workflows in a, and uh, well, good. I, I really like this. Now, guys, um, so two new features in Agent CRM. If if you're interested, I'm going to down below, I'm going to have a link and it's my affiliate link for Agent CRM. You can utilize my link. All right. Here is yeah. what you're going to get in addition to what's already included in Agent CRM. We've been using Agent CRM for a couple of years. And it is my go-to CRM. I use it for my auto insurance, my home insurance, my commercial insurance, and all of my health business, which is ACA and Medicare. So throughout those years, I have created a bunch of workflows. Well, I just said, you know what? As a reward, as a thank you for using my affiliate link, I'm going to give you all of my workflows. So, Alex, if you don't mind, I'm going to share these workflows. Just a little bit of Go information. Ahead, man. Yeah, let's do it. So, I'm let's, stop let's the share see. screen so you can show. And, Perfect. And for those of you watching, one of the other things that we'll do in the like, as soon as Lewis has his schedule bot up and ready to go, then we'll work on a quick document showing how Lewis is using schedule bot and like the messages that he's using, and we'll send that out to all the people that signed up using Lewis's affiliate link. So Beautiful. that way it's ready to rock and roll. Yeah. Yeah. Beautiful. I think that'll be really fun for people to see like how Lewis is setting all this up. I agree. And I'm going to make it work for my ACA, my Medicare, 
uh, you know, for all my lines of business. So we'll, we'll have some good stuff to share with, with our, with our new agents. So here's what I'm going to have for you. Let's say that you're a Medicare agent. Okay. So I'm going to give all of this is going to be set up on the backside for your agent CRM. So I've got these tags. I've got these opportunities or pipelines already set up these stages, these templates. Okay. I'm going to tell you about these templates guys. They are really cool. When somebody, when you enroll somebody into one of these plans, all you do is you select the 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 one that corresponds to the plan that they're in, and it will email those insureds information about. Let's just say it's Humana. It will email them their customer service number, their website, the provider search, the formulary list. It sends all that to them so that they don't have to call you for it. They'll have it in their email and their text messages. Uh, but here are the workflows and I've got some really cool workflows. Okay, number one. Okay, this is, let's see here. Uh, which one of these I'm gonna share? Let's go with um, the final expense book of business without Medicare Advantage. So all you guys have got a big book of final expense. You load them in there. You tag them that they're final expense clients. And then I've got a workflow that throughout the year, it's going to let them know that you do Medicare. I've already crafted all the emails and text messages. You don't have to do anything. It's built in. Um, I've got an AEP reminder. So if, if you've got a book of Medicare Advantage clients and it's time for AEP, you don't have to pick up the phone and call each one of them. Once you tag them that they have a Medicare Advantage with you, this AEP reminder is going to be sent to them by email and by text messages. It's going to let them know that they need to contact you and not any other agent or call us some 1-800 number. Um, here, here are some really cool ones, guys. You, you all know as Medicare agents, the name of the game is retention. Yes, it's good to write and we need to write, but ultimately we need to retain our book. We don't want to lose our clients and we don't want another agent to take them. So how do we keep them? So I came up with two post-enrollment workflows, one for Medicare Advantage and one for Medicare Supplement, okay? And what this does is it will email them throughout the year and let them know about all the benefits in their plans, okay? And it also will let them know that you're the point of contact and if they have any questions, they need to contact you. We don't want to lose our clients that we've written. And then this last one here, this one's been a gold mine for me turning 64 and a half. So you enter all of your contacts, all of your clients, all of your leads. And as long as they have a date of birth, this workflow will hunt for them. When they turn 64 and a half, it's going to put them on your radar because those are new to Medicare. And you guys know we make a bunch of money when we roll somebody new to Medicare. But it's also going to email and text those insurers or prospects that they're six months away from, from enrolling in Medicare and it walks them through the process of enrolling in Medicare, why they need to get their part A and their part B and then what they need to do once they get that. And again, everything is gonna be pointing towards you. Hey, once they've got that, contact you, the agent. So this right here, guys, is huge. And that's just the Medicare side. Let's do the ACA side. On the ACA side, we've got all these tags. We've got these uh, these opportunities, wow. okay? Um, you know, Alex, will you explain what an opportunity or a pipeline is? Yeah, I love opportunities. It's one of my favorite tools inside of Agent CRM. It's a it's a pipeline that um, you have. So you have a you have a prospect. So let's just say it's John Doe. So John Doe starts off in the opportunity pipeline of new Facebook ACA leads, right? And as they go through it, so it's like new lead, and I, I don't have the pipeline in front of me, so I'm kind of going off to the top here. It's like new lead, you know, um, uh, called, scheduled appointment, missed call. As you drag and drop John into each step of that pipeline, um, now different actions take place. A note is added to their prospect. A text message is sent. Once they've been enrolled, right, then let's say it's an ACA eight and enrollment. Now that person gets dropped into that pipeline. They get the email sent with, you know, here's uh, the numbers to call, et cetera. The whole purpose of the pipeline 
the reason why we built it and put so much time and effort into it is it should make it so that all you have to do is set up your pipeline with the automations for the various steps. And then it's done and set up, Lewis, and everything else is automated from that point forward. You just have to work the pipeline, right? So what Lewis has done here is he's put his entire business and all these pipelines in place. So all you have to do as the agent is go in and modify it. So it's got your voice, your phone numbers, et cetera. And then you can automate your entire business using these pipelines that he's got set up for you. So as you're generating ACA leads, use this pipeline. As they enroll, use the pipeline. And then your business is automated and you can focus on revenue generating tasks and not sending out email notifications and reminders to get signed up and things of that nature. So um, the pipelines are a drag and drop automation tool and it helps you visualize where your prospects and clients are in the process. Yeah, it, it's huge. And if you look at here, here, here are some of the stages that I've created on a pipeline. Oh, I, nice. Once a client gets enrolled, then we we place them in the stage depending if there's anything that they need to submit, an income letter, an income letter and other verifications, maybe citizenship. And so we kind of pick where they're at and then the CRM sends them emails letting them know, hey, we need to get these documents. Otherwise, bad things are going to happen. Um, look at the pipeline stages here on, uh, on Medicare. So a new lead, you made contact. You called, but no contact. Maybe you booked an appointment. Maybe they no showed you. Maybe the uh, everything went through and you submitted an app and it's pending. Then it gets sold. Okay, after it's sold, you can grab it and put it into a uh, cross sell for life insurance. Maybe you sold life insurance or maybe that's it. It's over with. You're done with it. Then you just drag it to the sold and it's over with. So again, it's a visual of what's happening. Uh, the, the, I guess the, the life cycle of that lead. Um, so it's been very, very, very helpful for me. But look at the templates here that I've created or the workflows that I've created for wow. you guys. So uh, I've got, again, all the uh, the carriers. So I want to send these people all the information about the carrier they're with because I don't want them calling me. I mean, I, I'm busy. I want to sell. Right. I don't want to service. So if, they, if they're with Aetna and uh, they, they have a, a, an issue, a customer service issue in the email and text that they get, they get their phone number. They get the website for them. Uh, they get the information on how to download the app for their phone. Um, they get the provider search and they get the formula. I'm trying to keep these people from sucking up all of my time. Um, so that I have that here. Um, we also have workflows for leads. If you're using Facebook, this tool, guys, is what's made a huge difference. I average during open enrollment anywhere between five to 700 uh, new sales. I doubled. Two reasons I doubled. Number one is I had my Facebook ads tweaked out. I've got information on the really? Facebook part down there. But what, what we also tweaked out were the responses that I had set up here in Agent CRM. All of a sudden, when the lead came in, Agent CRM started doing a bunch of things before I found out about it. It would send that lead a text message. Hey, Alex, thank you. for You were, you were on Facebook and you requested information for health insurance. We're going to be calling you in a few. Okay. It sent you an email. And then what it does is Agent CRM actually calls me. Hey, Luis, you have a Facebook lead. Do you want to talk to him? And if I hit yes, hit any button, then it connects me to Alex. Hey, Alex, this is Luis. A few minutes ago, you were on Facebook requesting information on health insurance. Man, how can I help you? And all of a sudden, within minutes, while that lead is still hot, I've got him on the phone. So I've got that for you. I've also got a workflow after you've closed the deal. So I sold Alex and his family health insurance and I'm done. Well, I don't want to be done with Alex. I, you know, on the backside, I want to be done with him, but I don't want him to think that I'm done with him. So now what's going to happen is throughout the remainder of the year, Alex is going to be getting text messages and emails from me. So I've created that. Um, a lot of good stuff here for you. And you don't pay for any of this, guys. None of it. It is built in. So there's two things that happen. A lot of you guys that have used my link, and if you don't have it, send me an email. I'll send it to the support at Branding, and then they'll load it. Okay. 
Um, if you decide that you don't have agency, if you don't have agent CRM and you decide that you want it, okay, down below is my affiliate link. Click on it. I think they get a 14 day free trial. Yep, 14 days, you get to try it out for free. So you can just see if it's a good fit for you. You'll have access every, if you use Lewis's link below, everything he created will be set up in your account. So you click on that, set up your account. As soon as you load it in, you're gonna see all that stuff has been automatically inserted into your account. So Lewis and his team took a long time setting that up and you're just gonna take minutes to tweak it so that it's your information and not his. So it is, uh, it's brilliant. So you, you have a business in a box ready to go for you. And guys, I will tell you, this is one of the tools that you can't do your job without. It. Okay. It's just, it's, it's an essential tool. And the other thing that I will tell you, if it's costing you money, you're not utilizing it. Okay. We, was it 97 a month? I think Alex, is yeah. that right? Yep. I mean, it makes month. me 20, 30 fold from just that investment. So think about it. It's a slot machine, guys. If you give it a dollar and it gives you 20, why don't you stick another dollar to get another 20? Okay. I mean, it's just one of those things. I'm going to keep feeding it because it's feeding me 20 times or more. you got to utilize these tools. This is not an expense, guys. Okay. This is a way to take that dollar and multiply it many, many times over. So guys, it's the best CRM out there. I've tried a bunch of them. Okay. Uh, and I'm telling you, this one is the one that I truly like. And I use it for everything, guys, not just health insurance, not just Medicare or ACA, but also for life insurance, also for my auto side of the business, for my home insurance side of the business, for my commercial side of the business. Every prospect gets put into this. And it's it's our communication tool. One of the things that I love about it, Alex is that everybody, my, I see all my people, and sometimes I don't hear the phone. I'm like, are, are our phones down? What's going on? I'm like, hey, hello, hello. Do I hear a dial tone? <laughs> you know, it's working. But what I do hear is this. You know, I hear them clicking. They're texting and communicating with our insureds on Agent CRM. And I have a record of it. You guys will know. I've been, I'm a seasoned agent. I've been around for 22 years. It's not a matter of if, it's a matter of when you're going to have an e and claim. Okay, that's an errors and omission claim. You're going to have an insured allege that you screwed up. Okay, they're going to say you did this or you didn't do this. And in our industry, guys, we are guilty. We have to prove ourselves innocent. And the only way we're going to do that is with communication logs. And that's the beauty of Agent CRM is that whether you call, you can record your calls. Okay, the text messages and emails, they're all timestamped. I will tell you, the attorneys from these ENOs love this. And I love it too, because Alex will tell me, you never sent me that. Hold on here, Alex. Hold on. I can go, I can go do a little research. I'm like, Alex, on March the 10th at 9 36 a.m., I <laughs> sent you an email or text message. At that point, Alex was like, mm, you know, you got me. Okay. I can yeah. prove it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so guys, it's it's it is a great great tool. Uh, don't know what you're waiting for. Again, down below, click on it. Up here, I'm yeah. going to put uh, a link. Use for you. link. Use my link. I'm going to put up here the link for you to to click on if you want some more information uh, on Agent CRM. You're gonna love it, guys. Alex, thank you, bro. Hey, you're welcome. Thank you, Lewis. Appreciate it, man. Okay, all right, guys. If you need anything else, put your comments and uh, read all my information down below. Thank you.